What is up, guys? Boulder here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Ranger. We are moving into what should be the final mission. I don't know if it'll be the last episode, but we should be starting the final mission tonight. Whatever. Um, last mission, speaking of last mission, uh, man. That really should have been two missions. That was so long. <laughs> I cut so much out of that, too. Man. Uh, but anyway. Gorok Squad's secret base has been destroyed. It's no exaggeration to say that it was a fantastic success that will go down in Ranger history. As a result of your latest exploits, you have taken another giant step forward, Colby. For all that you have achieved, I hereby certify you as Ranger Rank 10. We did it. 10 stars. Seemingly, maybe the highest Ranger Rank we can get, even though we're still treated as a newbie, but whatever. Uh, now that you have attained Ranger Rank 10, your party can be expanded. You are now permitted to be accompanied by seven friend Pokemon in addition to your party. Right. Uh, Cameron, is Spencer safe? There's nothing to worry about. I bet Spencer's art. Oh, yeah. Yeah, self-destruct button. He ran back into the building, but it's a Ranger game. Like, they're not going to kill someone in a Ranger game. I bet Spencer's already finished up and taking a nap somewhere. It's Spencer, Cameron, not you. He wouldn't be sneaking a nap anyway. But Cameron's right. You don't need to worry about Spencer, I guarantee it. He appears when the situation is at its most dire, and he's always gone by the time you notice. He's always been that way. And now, for Spencer's apprentices, I have a mission of critical importance. Thwart the plans of Gordor, the Gorok Squad's boss, who is thought to be holed up in the Fjord Temple. Alright. And Solana, coming with us. Okay, we're, we're just... I don't think I've seen the guy in glasses. Just a feeling, but I think the future is looking brighter. I don't think it's just because I clean my glasses, either. Can I thank the Rangers for this, too? Alright, dude. Uh, something about him was like, I, I have to speak with him before before he leaves the town. Okay, so... We just have to walk our way all the way back... Okay, I believe we're about at the entrance. I have three CDOT with me, because I ran into them, and CDOT's just, you know, one circle, and it's done. So, instead of trying to run, we just captured all three of them. Um, well, goddamn! Okay, we dodged all those golems before. That's what happens when you get hit with one. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Angela, we shouldn't need... I had to knock the tree over again, though. The the dead tree was lifted back up. Oh, there was that. Okay, yeah, gates open. Up the steps we go. Red Pokemon camping. Okay, I was wondering. Um, I have to see. I didn't want to like stock up like with the Sneasel in the woods and whatnot from the the previous, I guess, two episodes ago that we were using. Because I had a feeling that when we got to where we were going, we wouldn't be able to actually take them with us. That was correct. Okay, goodbye, C dot. The Fior Temple Mission 10. Well, dude, this is it. Ah. You chase us all the way here? That's persistence for you. You should put that persistence to good use in your studies, gaming, or even romance. Okay, I'm locking up. Okay. Wait, hold it, go Rock Squad. Like a fire symbol on the door. Okay, I see. We can't go on unless we get these doors open. Oh, wait, look, these doors are marked with a flame logo. Maybe we're supposed to get a fire group Pokemon to open them a level three. I don't see any Pokemon around here. Does it mean we have to go back? Friend, we fought you twice. Please don't make me fight you a third time. Isn't this Charizard the one you saved in the uh, jungle relic? Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Charizard. Bless. Charizard, thank you. It's for paying you, Poldu. That it is. That it is. Save. Uh, I see something on the radar. Golem. More golem. Okay. Uh, 
Dawn fan. Can't actually. Okay. B. No, I was like, I. Fan B. I've seen. Dawn fan. No. Gonna walk. Uh, Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl is actually fairly easy. Jolteon. Interesting. Okay. Ariados. I, I don't, I don't want you, Ariados. I don't have any idea where I'm supposed to be going. So until I know what I need to be doing, I'm not going to grab anything. <laughs> There's not much point. You're not. Okay. Uh, let's try this way. Oh. Okay. That's Golem. On fan. Gotta find a barrier or something. Another Aerodactyl. Hello. Should I just take the Aerodactyl? Sir, I can't. Sir, get off the, t the border of the screen. <laughs> All right. Jesus. Like, I know it doesn't have much health. It was being an asshole. Uh, hello, Vaporeon. I, I haven't seen, like, a... Anything to interact with. Uh, can I click this? No. So how... Let me just wander around until I find something to do, I guess. Oh, okay. So it was... I, I had to go around where the Ariados was, but I had to follow a specific place. Now, here's where the Dawn Van was with that little broken... Where am I stuck now? Okay, no, no, no. I probably go this way. Okay. I have another Aerodactyl. <laughs> I ran into the other one and was like, whatever, sure. Uh, okay, Raichu, hello. I was just thinking, with all these threats around, there's not even a battery Pokemon? I mean, well, Jolteon's probably a battery. And then it's an electric type. Uh, okay, that's probably where I'm trying to get, maybe? Oh, oh, what is this? Fallout, Medicam. Metacam had to do work. Yeah. You scare me. I'm not sure how I tackled this one. There's a lot of help. Yeah, then it does that. I still don't even really know what I need. Gengar? Hello. Lately. I'm just kind of walking, and I and when when we do like we come and do a problem, then I'll worry about catching things. Umbreon and Espeon. That's cool. Oh, very easy. Hold on. Okay. Hello, Espeon. No field move, just psychic. It kind of seems, so we've seen everything except for Flareon, because this is a Gen 3 game, so. Uh, oh. He knew. Oh, he has a lot of oh, Flareon is. God, okay. I mean, dark type skills are really good, so uh, actually, I, I do want you to go for the discharge. Here we go. Okay. Cool. Now that again, dark type field or poke assist rather. Very, very good. 
Aerodactyl was taken away by Wild Gengar. Oh. There's Flareon. So, this is what? Three, five? Yeah, we could have all the evolutions in our team. Um, which... We might want... Like, that... That's coverage right there. Why do you have that much help? Right, you. Get on the screen so I can click you. There you go. It, you're you're just a flare. <laughs> what? I mean, I'll I'll try it. What is... It's a flying assist, not a rock assist. What does a flying assist even do? Whips up gusts of wind that can levitate Pokemon to help us hopelessly. won't get out of the corner either. Yeah, 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 now that it's over. Now you get out of the corner, huh? Alright, hold on. Okay, I need to prepare for that Flareon. Uh, I went out and got Vaporeon, who is even bulkier for some reason, and then leaves in like two seconds. So I had to discharge it. Got Metacam as well, but I'm preparing. Now I'm gonna get the other evolutions on the way, because why not? Alright, got the Flareon with a Dawn fan that I went to go get. Ground type. Uh alright. So we just don't have Jolteon. I don't know how to get to Jolteon, but I don't know it. Seemed like a fun thing to do. Now I gotta get out without Gengar taking one of them. <laughs> I'm just gonna run. Oh, wait. I found... Okay. The Raichu. All off to the left of the Raichu. Okay, here's the door. Another set of doors? How are we supposed to get these open? There's something engraved on this stone tablet. Once upon the sacred pedestals are uh, placed the chosen Pokemon... Pass shall be thrown wide. Why do I feel like I actually needed all the evolution? Wait a minute. I just did it because, like, oh, why not? They're here. I'm sure they won't go to waste. This must be the hint for opening those doors. Whoa, that gave me a jolt. The sacred pedestals that the stone men tablet mentioned. Are they these things? A red Pokemon on four legs cloaked in the power of fire. Place the fire on the pedestal? No, not yet. Okay, we need to go get Jolteon, who should be somewhere around here. Uh, hopefully. Okay, Jolteon. I see. Do I have Metacham? I don't want to use any of the other evolution, especially since I need Flareon I need to prep for. Vaporeon I needed discharge for. Uh, I probably need to go get a Dawn fan. Again. With this Jolteon. Got it! It took a while. Because it's really annoying to get. Uh, so I went around to get a Grow Vile. Grow Vile to stop the Dawn fan. To put Jolteon in their place. They are just a battery, of course. Uh, now I gotta go all the way back around. Okay. Uh, place Jolteon, yes. So, it went onto the pedestal by itself as if something were leading it. Looks like your deductions were on the money. Uh, okay, two more to go. 
Okay, I didn't know if I needed, like, all on me. Like, if it would just sit here if I left. Looks like it probably would have. And then a blue Pokemon, cloaked in water. And off they go. Once upon the sacred pedestals are placed, the chosen Pokemon, the path will be thrown wide. Let's go, Pokemon. Right. Okay, I see that save on the map. Let's see how many other things <laughs> I gotta wander and stumble into. Uh, okay. Diagonals. Look at that. We get fancy. Can I do anything? Like, uh, something about three Lanoons. Ah. Let's see a Blastoise, a Palava. Is there any? Let's them around this room real quick. Nope. Okay. Well. Just, no. All you Rangers go on and on about Pokemon feelings. If you ask me, Pokemon not only have three. I uh, only have three feelings: hungry, not hungry, and angry. That's a take. Be stupidly fast. They're 5 HP. Can I get any with. They dash off the screen, so like Dark type isn't even gonna help. Get away from each other. Fuck off. One stood still for a while. And then the other one. Alright. Looks like it's RNG as to whether or not how, like, whether how. RNG as to how long they wait, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know. Whatever, there we go. Yeah, Lanoon, whatever. Get out. I lost, so it's not really up to me to say, but you and Pokemon seem to connect emotionally. Yeah, well, I... It's really gonna be one of those, huh? Where every fight... Save, I'm gonna go find a Raichu, I'm gonna walk all the way back. Hold on. I got a backup Raichu with me as well. the other is there a there is no other way oh can i click on that thing no okay all i saw was the koalava from the ground oh boy go rock squads undiscovered star that's me file rights i should be a commander by now let me demonstrate my prowess bayleaf is annoying on its own croconaw also fairly annoying koalava i don't i don't know about koalava this is gonna suck Let's get it. Palava, get back in the center of the screen. Palava, you fucker. Palava! Palava won't stop it. Palava, oh my god. Palava's ruining this whole thing. Please stop. All right, time to be annoying with Bayleaf. No, 
No, no. Get the, get the line away. Okay. Oh. Well, I feel almost obligated to go get another Umbreon. The Umbreon was really annoying to get. I don't, I don't know. We've got nothing to do with things, but do you have the time to listen to me whine? When it comes right down to it, the boss only cares about his kids. If you're not related to the boss, you can only go so high in position. I'm getting sick of it all. All right, well, right to save time. Oh, hell no. It's two Pokemon, but Blaziken was hard enough solo. Let's try this. I'll try the uh, Discharge Metacham combo, I guess, and pray that they line up. I had rumors about you, but I honestly didn't think you would get this far. I admit to being impressed by your gutsy determination. Don't ever forget the sense of no surrender that brought you uh, that brought you here even when you grew older. What? Okay. Uh, of course, I also show up that I'll also show you that it's sometimes better to give up. Honestly, with this game, <laughs> not bad advice. Good. This is gonna come down to RNG, it's whether or not- YES! YES! Like, it's whether or not they line up correctly. Are you kidding me? How did- How does that not work on Blazekin? Honestly, I'm probably just gonna reset. I, I- Yeah, this is a headache. Even with the combo, I'm resetting. Okay, right, they're pretty much on top of each other. I got Blaziken. That's is good enough. Blastoise isn't actually. Very impatient with shit battles, which is most of what we got now. Oh, okay. I, I did almost screw it up. I had to like really move the line. I was barely okay. Took forever. But... Right, another one down. How could you work so hard for just the sake of some Pokemon? Pokemon are just tools, they're just tools for our benefit. It looks like the boss is ready. Why don't you go see how exactly how powerful the Go Rock Squad is? Uh, is the is that actually? Okay, well, save time. Um, I only have an Espeon. I have no discharge. I don't know what I'm up against though, so. I think we're just gonna save. What's my HP at? 29? Yeah, I'm not even gonna use the Raichu. We're gonna go straight on up here. These stairs will take us to the Temple Summit. We finally cornered Gordor, the Go Rock Squad's boss. Are you ready for this? No. I'm gonna say yes anyway. <sighs> Less a goal. Oh, hell no. You've gotta be kidding me, right? You seem to be dumbfounded by the sight of these legendary Pokemon. Uh, you're right. It's because I know the mechanics of this game. You're gonna throw all three at the same time, aren't you? You are Poldu, was it? Forgive me for not sending you invitations, but you are my honored guest for my solo performance. Welcome, young Rangers. Welcome to the greatest performance of my life. Witness it to your heart's content from your especially reserved seats. Have a good look at this machine. It's for the ultimate styler that I created for this glorious moment. 
not even Hastings could use a device, uh, could devise a styler this powerful. The instant I play any melody on this style, its vibrations will take over the free will of any Pokemon. That means any Pokemon will do uh, will become my slave and do exactly my bidding. No Pokemon can defy my style. Not even legendary Pokemon that are said to be virtually impossible to capture. I will use my style to command the three legendary Pokemon to unleash their fury upon Fior. I will make them create rainstorms, thunderstorms, and firestorms. And when these three calamities strike Fior, it won't be you rangers quelling them. It'll be us, the Gorok Squad. It'll be an easy matter if we have the abilities of the Pokemon. If we use the abilities of the Pokemon we have, I'll consider this. What will the people of Fior call the Gorok Squad after we stop the calamities? Be considered heroes in the new coming age. The Gorok Squad will replace you rangers. It will be the dawning of a new era in which the Gorok Squad will forge the new world order as hero. You get to be a witness to the Gorok Squad's greatest moment of glory. Rejoice in it. That's horrible. How can you be so cruel and misguided? Rob Pokemon of their free will? That's completely different from capturing. You're just torturing Pokemon and doing something against their will. It's just ugly violence. Such feisty spirits. Why do you accuse me of making Pokemon suffer? Would you like to see if your Brussel and Minin suffer? On second thought, it's not worth it. It's not worth my time capturing worthless Pokemon like them. Neither Brussel nor Minin are worthless. They do seem to be adorable and cute at least, I'll give you that. But enough, let's get on with the show. First Raikou, go on, go absolutely wild. Fill the skies above the earth with the shards of lightning you summon. Raikou is suffering. Oh, can't you do something? Okay, is it one at a time? Okay. So far, anyway. Okay. So what do, what do we got here? I don't need a, I don't even know what I'm dealing with circle wise, like. These lightning bolts suck real, real bad. Okay. Uh, this is not impossible, but pretty much without using, like, ground to stop him from making a clear line through the entire screen. I'll try the Espeon just to see. Okay, now... We caught it, but we still have two more to go with no breaks. Like was a legendary Pokemon that dashes while dropping Thunderbolts. Yep. What? You insult? You won't be lucky twice. You might be right. Suicune, go! Let loose every bit of the savagery in your heart. Drown Fior under the rainstorms you call for. Suicune will get blamed if Gordor's not stopped. Hulu, save Suicune! Okay, now Suicune... What? So, something I didn't, uh, show is Gengar does this. Gengar that we're stealing Aerodactyl. Gengar splits itself. You gotta find... But Gengar eventually stops. 16. I'm assuming... If I... circle a clone, it'll go away. 
gotta capture three individual 16 health Suicunes. Well, I'm gonna have to, like, farm these to get a full discharge. And then pray. Okay. Discharge full. There's two Suicune. You can only... You can't get down to one because immediately summons clones again. Uh, the real Suicune is the one in the center. And now we pray. So I have Raichu to heal up for Entei, but I'm probably gonna have to cut away. It took such a long time to get Discharge up. I'm so glad I did not snub it. Oh my god. Oh. We fought Entei one. Entei summoned ads. See. What compels you to meddle so much of my affairs? To realize it's futile. However, many of my Pokemon you release, I can easily recapture them so long as I have this power style. Besides, I shall have the most reliable of the lot. Enter! But that's the one I beat in the past. Interesting they call him reliable. Where are... Oh, they're probably gonna go break the machine. Entei, the legendary Pokemon. The towering flames Entei erupts will burn all Fior down to the ground. I see no need to recall Raikou. Let's go! What are you doing? Stop that! Don't touch that! You blasted Pokemon! Get off the keyboard! Me to my cat. <laughs> Look, the Styler's smoking! Kill him. Hold on, Entei's attacking Gordor. So? <laughs> this isn't about him. Stop it, Entei, I'm your master. Rescue Gordor. But I don't wanna. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Okay. And he has a flame aura. Okay, the aura doesn't do too much damage to me. Now how how touchy Okay. How close can I get to the things on the side? That's the real question. I gotta use Raichu. I'm assuming it's, you know, like the, like the bottom one, there's that tiny little flame in the column. Ah, hey, oh, I, that's, that sucks. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to discharge, but how am I gonna farm a discharge? I can't circle like even once. Once I get one, I can try like the cheese strat, but I need one, you know? I don't know how much HP he has either. You tell me that didn't be kidding me. Wait. Oh. Oh. See. Okay. All right. Now, please 
get away from the fire, sir. Alright, farming begins now. With no remorse. Alright, the meter's been filled. Discharge time. Oh, immediately in that corner, the cheese circles. Let's go. Please be it. You you don't have your machine's broken. A little too late for that game. That's please that make that the final boss, please. Leader, you were safe after all. Spencer, we I don't know how to explain it, but we rescued Gordor in spite of him being the enemy to Pokemon and us. That's okay, you did the right thing. Do the best we can to help people in need. That's what a ranger does. I'm like, you all get out. I don't want to see you. Oh my god. Goodbye, you legendary Pokemon. Oh no. Leader, we have to chase and capture Gordor. Capture a human? Solana, that isn't a ranger's job. I come to understand what he did was absolutely wrong. We have to put our faith in that. You're, that's very naive. <laughs> I'm more concerned about you two and plus and mine and you're not hurt, are you? Don't worry about me. Joel arrived on the scene right after you left. We got to play superheroes together, just like old times. Okay, superhero leader. Solana reporting in on our latest mission. Holdu was simply awe-inspiring. He came up with a performance that surpassed all his achievements so far. And our puzzle and mining were the keys to thwarting Gordor's vile scheme. I did that with, like, nothing, too. I, I got lucky. I got super fucking lucky, because those fights were ass. Especially Suicune farming up all that. Um, and unleashing it in one, like... It was, I don't know, like, ten minutes trying to get Suicune because of, like, the duplicates. I couldn't... There was, there was probably a way for me to try to cheese loop like I did Entei. It would have been a lot better, but it took forever for Suicune. And then that Espeon for Raikou. Again, I lucked out. <laughs> because if that Espeon didn't work against Raikou, oh, Raikou just having a full line down the screen. No, thank you. Entei was kind of cool. Not going to lie. I, it might have gotten worse had I not gotten the circles there. Um, but I kind of like that he had a shield you had to chip away. It was kind of neat. Plus little mine in, thank you. Okay, team, let's head back to the ranger base. We need to show the professor that we're okay before he gets too anxious. It's done. Who would have thought it possible? Gordo was the Gold Rock Squad's boss? I'm utterly mystified. What drove you to do such a thing? When we were young, we worked side by side on our studies, you and I. We were comrades in arms. Comrades in arms? Keep the sappy sentimentality out of this. Because of you, my research was always considered second rate. In time, you became the chief of the technology for the Ranger Union. Even while the results of my studies went without ever seeing the light of day, prepared, prepared over many long years in hopes of one day proving to the world that I was the better of us. But my dream was just that, a dream, a dream broken by your cherished rangers. Hastings, laugh if you want, laugh all you want at me, always a pathetic loser to you. Oh no, why don't you just fold up the Gorok squad and chew your followers away? Then come join me at our lab, your gifted abilities are sure to be, ben uh, to be of benefit to me. Well, Gordo, where do you join us? Hastings, do you seriously think I could do all that? You haven't changed much at all. Gordo, where do you intend to go? There'll always be a place for you in our lab. Professor, it's mission complete. When it comes right down to it, the stylers you make are the greatest, Professor. Professor Hastings, don't tell me you couldn't stand to wait anymore and came here alone. There's nothing to worry about, sir. Our young rangers have saved the from calamity. 
Well, are you exhausted, Puzzle and Minin? Feeling hungry? Both of you, Poldo and Solana, your faces are filthy with grime and your uniforms are falling apart. Dang. It reminds me of the day you first arrived in Fall City. You were pale and wearing that crisp new uniform. It really didn't suit you at all. But now it's different. You look the part completely. Toughened up. I hope you'll keep going on as a ranger with pride in your heart always. That's nice to see. The mission clear. Okay, team. Let's return to our ranger base. It's everyone. And some random people. Hello, rangers. Thank you. I'm so grateful we owe it all to you. I was so worried about you. I came straight over from town. I knew you'd do it for us. Hey there, Poldo, you're great! The greatest, even! I was like, who's Larry? The Hello guy from the start. Big guy, you're so cool. Big girl, you're so fabulous. It's me, Murph. I came to get you. Hey, over here, please look. <laughs> uh, do you remember me? I bailed out from the Gorog Squad. Is this the guy that kept asking if we remember him? I like that. All town. Thank you, Pokemon Rangers. There, okay, I was like, yeah, it's a really long black screen. <sighs> Suffering is over. Fucking Larry! I guess I can put all the pictures on the bottom screen. Let me see here. Let me, uh, while this is going, we'll put LCD layout. Top there we go. Pokemon Ranger. I, I will say I'm not opposed to playing the sequels. I'll put that out there right there. Because everything I've heard about them mechanically is not this garbage. Did I have fun? Sometimes, yeah. Not every mission was hell. Uh, not every Pokemon was hell to fight. Um, a lot of them were. It just, it, I'm I'm really surprised that this game got sequels. <laughs> I could not imagine trying to play this as a kid. I know a lot of people probably bought this game because you got the Manaphy egg, um, and I think there was a there was a movie to go along with it too that included Manaphy, but. Hey, there's Kyogre. We're not doing... I think there's, like, two or three post-game um, missions to fight legendaries. We're absolutely not doing um, the quads. Even though the... Like, again, mechanically, this game is so unbelievably frustrating. Um, the Ranger Net has been added to the menu. Ranger Net has a new special mission for you. A Ranger Net? Like a network? Okay, that's I guess how the special ones are. Um, the it, This game's beautiful. I love the sprite work in this. Let's see, LCD layout, pop them back. The dialogue, Ranger Net. Oh, do I have to download? Oh, look at him! I was, just, I was just gonna let them walk around while I while I talk then. Um, the dialogue was great. The sprite work is really nice. Like everything except for physically playing the game was really good, honestly. Um, it's just the the main mechanics of this. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, it's short, which is why we played it because uh, you know. As I mentioned before, it, I didn't want to, like, squeeze in a full-length, like, Nuzlocke. I don't think we had time before the Diamond 4 Remix drop. Um, but overall, like, I, I don't regret playing it. I don't think I've ever regret playing any game I've done, regardless how I feel about it at the end. Um, but I, I'm definitely open to playing the next one 
just because there was a comment a while ago that mentioned that there it's like a, a threshold or like you, you're building a meter instead of just like all or nothing loops uh there's a lot more forgiveness in terms of like breaking just a bunch of it sounds like it's real nice and i know uh, um i think like one of the first or so episodes there was a comment that was saying like i never recommend starting with pokemon ranger one which is a shame because like i don't to me it's why would you not start at one you know um but we got the worst seemingly out of the way uh, so I don't know when the next is there's Shadows of Almia and then there's another one I don't know which one Shadows of Almia is the only name I remember. I don't know if that's two or three But we're going in order uh, So far <laughs> if two sucks, then I probably won't play three, but We did this so I'm, I'm definitely down for another one <sighs> That that series and Thank you all for watching, for supporting the series, the channel. I do very much appreciate it. Uh, again, thank you to Fiery Dance for the graphics for this. Um, and that's going to be it for me. We have uh, a bit, another like month before Diamond and Pearl remakes drop. So Pokemon will be a bit absent for the time being. Uh, but just know... They are coming, and I got stuff ready, getting stuff ready to go for them. But yeah, final thank you. See you guys, and whatever we go next. And eventually, that next will be...